Hey, it's Kanika Law for Red Carpet Report. I'm at Westwood Village Theater in Los Angeles for the premiere of Smosh the Movie. Let's go talk to some YouTubers and get smoshed. Okay. Harley, for, well first just tell us about the movie experience. I mean, I'm sure you just were yourself the whole time. I'm so excited about it. I get to see me bigger. I'm already big, but now I'm going to be on a big screen. And I'm next to Ian and Anthony, these little guys. I'm going to look gigantic. I'm, I actually, I'm like a mailman in it but I'm wearing like a little mailman suit. You're pretty uh, aggressive in that trailer portion. You like right. bash. Yeah, yeah. Don't I'm get aggressive. Harley mad. I'm aggressive, I'm covered in milk, a little mailman suit. I was particularly chubby that day, rocking the mailman gut. It was really fun. We had a fun time filming it. It was awesome, have you seen it yet? I saw my part. Honestly, the rest of it, who cares? <laughs> Is it? Who cares? As long as your part's really Yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm just playing around. I actually, I haven't watched it, but I'm excited to see it. And I'm happy I haven't seen it yet, so everything's going to be fresh to me. Yeah, exactly, exactly. What about? So, tell us the top three reasons why fans of Smosh would enjoy this movie. Fans of Smosh will enjoy this movie because there's uh, Ian and Anthony. Again, though, like you have Ian and Anthony, but some scenes have Ian and Anthony and Ian and Anthony. Yes. So you're getting double smosh. I'm in it, and there, there's milk in my beard. And I, I can't even, honestly, I don't want to put my name out there and vouch for it because I haven't seen it all. I'm just going to bank on the fact that it's going to be awesome because they always deliver quality. But, you know, we'll see. I'll be brutally honest after the movie. It was amazing. I'm not going to sit here and fluff these guys, you know? These guys are professionals. If it's not good, I'm going to tell them. Where? That being said, I expect it to be really good because they always deliver quality. Of course. Now, epic meal time. That sounds epic. I want to see more episodes of that. Tell me, how did you get the idea to you know, start that? And while you were making it, how the hell did you make money to make it? Uh, early on, I mean, like early epic meals just cost like 70 bucks. You know, when we were drunk, we are like, oh my God, we should put tacos on pizzas. And I was like, no, we should put tacos on pizzas every single week for the next five years. Why not? Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. I can just guarantee that it was five because here we are. You know, we're going to keep doing it. Yeah, Mark. What's in a perfect poutine? What's in your perfect poutine? A perfect poutine is just exactly that. You don't add anything else to it. Yeah, that's not even it's not even a poutine. Then it's disco fries. Yeah, disco fries. Yeah. So brown gravy. I'm sorry. I just swallowed a burp. Delete that file. No, I'm kidding. They need to see that. They need to see that. Uh, a regular poutine, just french fries, greasy french fries, brown gravy, cheese curds. Yeah, so good. And uh, tell us about the other work that you're in. I mean, you just wrapped up a pilot. You were in the Kevin Smith movie. So were you yourself in a lot of those movies? I mean, tell me about the experience. Uh, well, no, actually, I, I filmed something with Kevin Smith, and I play like a, like a, I play like a rapey pimp, kind of. So it was really nice to play something different from what I, I normally do, where, you know, a mailman. <laughs> Um, so uh, that was fun, and that's in a horror movie, so that'll, that'll be out. I don't know when that comes out. I don't even, I can't really speak on the Kevin Smith projects other than they're really incredible, and you know, he's got his plan, and I'm just, every time I'm there, it's a surreal experience. Um, being in this movie was a surreal experience, because it's the Smosh movie, it's their own movie. So it's just been, it's just wild. And you know, we still do, exactly, he knows, he knows. Okay, I, let's say I wanna go on YouTube. Right. I want to make a channel. What are the do's and the don'ts? Well, how do we start? What do we break down it for us, aspiring? Uh, do make something you love doing, and and you know, make sure you love it because you might be doing it five years later. And don't step on my fucking turf, which is the cooking game. Because if you come at me with that, like that's your own mistake. What is this? You can't say that on Red Carpet Report? No, we can say anything. Oh, okay. I thought you were like, oh, okay, yeah. No, I just sad because I love food. I, I, I won't stop. Yeah, okay. I don't want the mailman to come at me, you know? No can do anything food. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's a, like, honestly, I got some mean motherfuckers that'll suck your dick. <laughs> off. I meant to suck it off, like, in a bad way. Like... <laughs> Harley, you're the best. Yeah, got weird. You're the best, Harley. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys got a taste of what Smosh the movie is all about. Make sure to check it out on digital platforms on July 24th. And of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and comment below. Let me know who your favorite YouTuber is.